Today we're here to talk about the RTX RTOS platform with Ethercat and how we're able to improve scalability and shorten your time to market. So if we take a look here, here's a typical industrial application. So this should look familiar to many of you. So what we're saying is many of today's current designs actually impede scalability and impact your time to market in a negative way. And really, we're going to point out why that is. So starting out, if you look here, although this is a somewhat a straightforward example, you can see the wiring diagram is actually still quite complex. We have uh, multiple buses here going to the different I.O. modules as well as the drives, and we also have a lot of additional wiring just for the safety logic. So this becomes very challenging as you try to scale the system to become a larger design or you know even for maintenance and installation so it becomes a challenge just even to get the system installed now if we look over into the industrial PC so if we look inside of it the good thing is there is some commercial off-the-shelf boards that are being used so here is actually an Intel or AMD based motherboard and as you can see there's Windows used here and we're also using Windows for the HMI so we have a nice complex HMI however in many of current designs you'll see is for the real-time component they will be dedicated DSP cards or maybe FPGAs or ASICs so the fact that you have these dedicated you know real-time cards in the system creates a lot of complexity so now you have multiple architectures inside of the system. So when you have these multiple architectures, a lot of times you can't progress as fast as you'd like because you're only as good as your weakest link. So although the multi-core x86 motherboards tend to double performance in a rapid rate, usually every 18 months, a lot of times these proprietary boards do not. So you're tied to either you know, the specific roadmaps of these types of processors or the fact that these boards are custom made and now you have to worry about designing a whole new plug-in card, for example, your, for your next generation device. So again, the fact that the, you have multiple architectures here, you have a lot of proprietary wiring and cabling, all of this creates a lot of issues in how to scale the system and also the fact that you have multiple architectures didn't mention this before but you usually have multiple tool sets to go along with those different architectures so that usually means separate code bases a lot of times separate development teams so it's a lot of moving pieces to try to develop and, and actually integrate into a single product so a lot of challenges again with uh, a traditional system so now let's take a look at the RTX RTOS platform with Ethercat. And so now if we take that same design, we're going to show how you can greatly simplify not only the hardware, but also the tooling. So starting out, you can see there's been some immediate changes here. So the first thing that comes, uh, comes to your side here is the actual wiring. So there's been drastic changes. Now instead of all that separate wiring harnesses and the separate safety logic, we have a single Cat5 cable that's actually doing all of the real-time communication and also is providing a dedicated channel for all of the safety bus co uh, communications for the entire system. So we have integrated communication and safety bus all on a single CAT5 cable and that is brought to you by Ethercat. And also FYI is Ethercat is expandable. So although this is a smaller system, you can have up to 65,000 Ethercat nodes on a single you know, strand of, like, of uh, CAT5 cabling. So tremendous expandability with Ethercat. Now let's uh, look into in the industrial PC. So we saw the previous example. Again, it was a very powerful system, a lot of capabilities, but we were using some commercial off-the-shelf board but had a lot of dedicated hardware. Now let's actually introduce RTX to the equation. So. RTX actually transforms Windows into a real-time operating system by providing a separate real-time scheduler in addition to the Windows scheduler. So if you see here, we now have a true dedicated real-time core here running under RTX that allows us to do real-time processing. I know you might be asking, how do you do this? You have a dual-core system. How do you keep Windows from interfering with RTX and vice versa? Well, Windows still retains its own scheduler for all the general purpose processing functions. And now RTX brings a separate real-time scheduler. So truly independent of Windows and also keeps Windows from interfering with any real-time processing and also vice versa. Any real-time processing won't interfere with any Windows type operations as well. So anyway, so coming back to here, so now we have a dedicated real-time processor. What this enables us to do is move all of the real-time functionality that was done in these dedicated boards. For example, you could have the bus communications and any sort of uh, motion logic. And so we'll move it onto this real-time core with RTX. 
That essentially allows us to remove the proprietary hardware out of the system. So now we have the exact same system now running on the RTX RTOS platform with Ethercat, and we've removed any proprietary hardware, and now it's truly COTS based. So we're using off the shelf multi core x86 boards, so you have tremendous expandability and scalability with that, not having to make any custom hardware. And also, RTX fully leverages the full Microsoft Windows environment, so the whole framework. So you're able to use a single integrated development environment for your entire design. So you don't have separate development tools. You are using Visual Studio for all of your development needs. So again, so summarize, really big impact using commercial off-the-shelf cabling, using EtherCAT's ability to leverage Ethernet, and we're using COTS hardware and also using a single IDE. Okay. So, just to review the solution, what is the RTX RTOS platform? So again, summarize again, at the, at the base of the foundation we have multi-core x86 hardware, either using Intel or AMD, leveraging their roadmaps. On top of the hardware, we've got Microsoft combined with RTX. Again, RTX transforms Windows into a real-time operating system by using a separate real-time scheduler. And by the way, it's been doing this for over 10 years now. And then we have for communications real-time Ethernet, and that's enabling a EtherCAT here. And then as being the customer, you would implement your application here at the top level, leveraging all of these proven technologies below. And then finally, you're able to build under a single integrated development environment, and that's Visual Studio. So that's the total solution. So to help drive it home and to illustrate one final point, so one of the big aspects with the RTX RTOS platform with EtherCAD is scalability. So if we look here, we have that same example we saw earlier. So we have a dual core system. We have Windows delivering the powerful HMI. And then on the RTX real-time core here, we're actually doing DSP functionality, doing like soft motion, for example, and then EtherCAT for communications. So say you've spent you know, a good bit of time and developed this first product. Now you want to actually develop the next generation design or whatever the market might demand. So what can happen now is, again, because you're using RTX, and RTX supports something called symmetric multiprocessing, we actually can now use an, a commercial off-the-shelf board with four cores. So what was, what's really nice about this platform is you are able to leverage all your existing investments. So your same application will move over seamlessly. So you still have the HMI, you have the real-time core here for the DSP logic and the EtherCAT communications, and now we have two additional real-time cores. So now you can actually implement, for example, a soft PLC here or maybe s include some more soft motion so there's a lot of expandability just moving from a dual core to a quad core system and now maybe you might have requests for a very high-end system or your, your next generation design again all of your investment in the previous design will map over and here, because this is an eight-core system, we have a lot more room to expand. So as you can see here, we broke out the DSP logic to have its own core. We have a dual EtherCAD masters, one for, for example, a motion bus, one for communications and I.O. We have also a PLC soft motion that mapped over. And then also we have two additional real-time cores. So maybe the market is demanding for you to include vision now into your application. And, and of course, finally, you can dedicate a whole core to monitor all the safety logic in your system as well. So hopefully this helps to the paint a picture of how this platform truly is scalable and because you can have this dedicated processing you can integrate very quickly so that actually shortens your time to market as well. Okay. So just in closing, just want to, again, here is the RTX RTOS platform with EtherCAT. Again, a lot of proven technologies all here ready to be used, and you as the application provider actually integrates your IP, leveraging all of those technologies below. So hopefully you found this informative. If you go to our website, you'll find a lot of other additional videos that go into more details about this platform. Thanks for your time.